Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry, and I am so excited to finally be back recording with you guys. It's been several weeks since I recorded. I have been traveling so much not for fun, but for work. Um, I've been going to and from Juneau, Alaska, which I live in Alaska, guys, and Alaska is humongous. Like, I don't know how to describe how large it is, but for me to get to Juneau, it's an hour and 40 minute flight one way. <laughs> and I'm still in the same state. So I had to fly there every single week during the month of July, except one week I got COVID, it's a whole other story. Totally got that from work. And then I also had to go and stay in Juneau for a week last week. So I was in Juneau working, moving our existing office, creating a corporate apartment. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys were so sweet and um, were talking to me a lot about the cruise lines because in front of the apartment that we have there were tons and tons of cruise ships coming in and it was really fun to chat with you all about the cruise ships that were there but oh my goodness I am just so thankful to be home I'm so thankful to be actually spending time with you I'm feeling some Pinocchio vibes today I got this really cute Pinocchio shirt from Boohoo which is like my favorite store ever. And then I have this like fun Pinocchio hat that I've literally never worn, but I've had for so long that I got from fun.com and I'm just like, I'm living for it. I think it is so adorable. The live action Pinocchio is coming out super soon. I love Tom Hanks, so I'm really excited to see this version of him as Geppetto. I would love to know what you guys think. Not, I'm not a big fan of like the animated film. I think it's terrifying. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about Pinocchio because I'm looking forward to live action, we'll just say that. The original I could probably never see again and be totally fine, <laughs> totally fine. <laughs> anyway, we have a Bippity unboxing to do. Let's get into it and let's see what is inside. don't know who Bippity is, Bippity is a customizable subscription box company that does Disney subscription boxes. They also do Marvel, Star Wars, they have lots of combo boxes where you can get Harry Potter and you can get all different sorts of fandoms like Nickelodeon and Sanrio and those sorts of things. They have an extensive wish list where you can put little items on your wish list that you would like to see in your box, which is also really fun. They do that every single month. And I'm going to be opening a two of their boxes today. I'm going to be opening the Ultimate Magic Box and I'm, I am also going to be opening their Sparkle Box, which is their stickers and magnets subscription that they send out monthly as well. So I do have a promo code for this company. So if you're interested in getting a discount and also getting one free sparkle box with your purchase. I will link that information down in the description box down below. Pop it up here on the screen for you guys to check out. And we're gonna go ahead and start with this guy. So this is their sparkle box. It is not customizable, but it is a subscription that has either stickers or magnets and there's anywhere from three to five and usually they're themed for the events that are going on at the Disney parks or the holiday seasons or those sorts of things. I love Disney stickers. It is not an uncommon um, thing I speak about over here on the channel. <laughs> and so I always love getting this box. I think it is so fun. <gasps> Ooh, I think that we have a, like a food and wine type of festival theme going on. Oh, these are super cute. Okay. So we do. Let me do a close up for you guys so you can check these out. This month we have all sorts of Mickey food themed and it does have like the name of the food. So we have a Mickey avocado, a Mickey lemon. Oh, this is so cute. A Mickey pineapple, a Mickey orange and a Mickey strawberry. Oh, those are so cute. So this is actually one of the first months where we do not have a magnet which honestly is okay. I don't have a magnetized fridge. So usually what I do is I will take the magnets and like place them onto my pin boards. So for me, I'm fine with either or. Also, when did fridges stop being magnetized? I think that is like the weirdest thing. 
my husband loves it because he hated having things like on the fridge themselves so he's like he lives for that sort of thing but i like to get magnets on trips and i like to have like i just love i'm a maximalist if you didn't know this about me which i'm sure if you watch my channel you know this about me <laughs> but i just like a lot of fun things that bring me joy and like putting stuff on the fridge brings me joy. Are you a putter of things, putting things on the fridge type of person? Or are you a minimalist? You do not, you like a clean stainless steel or whatever color fridge you have. And you do not want to mess up beauty of a blank fridge. If you are, respect. I don't, <laughs> I was going to say, I don't understand you, but like, I, I get it. I get it. You want it to look nice and clean. Totally understand. Anyway, we're moving. <laughs> this conversation deteriorated. We're moving on into our Bibbidi box. So I'm gonna do a close up of the box so you can see what it looks like because the pattern on these boxes are so beautiful. They do have a protective like plastic cover that it comes on. Here is the box. It is great. It's got all sorts of beautiful emblems. There's the Bibbidi logo. Everything is in pastel, which we love. Hollywood Tower Terror logo. We've got lots of Disney treats, balloons grape soda pin which we love it's a small world logo a mickey truck and this particular box is 119 dollars plus shipping in case you were wondering how much it is so inside as i'm opening it up i see a packing slip the packing slip has all of the information as to what is inside of the box and then here we have a pink interior and i'm just going to open this guy up and let's feel around and see what's inside. Okay, so I am feeling a little pouch. Okay, it looks like we have a big item in here. I'm just gonna pee, I, it's like covered with a uh, little funfetti, so I'm gonna kind of peek around it. Okay, so we have a pin. Oh, this is so cute. Yes, so um, I really wanted this pin when I was there in June and I, did, I couldn't find it, which I thought was really odd. Maybe I just didn't look in the right place, but I'm so thankful that Bippity had it on their wish list and now I can add it to my pin board. I have a couple of pin boards that are just specifically for events that I have attended. And this one is the pass holder. And it is a pass holder pin. I am a Disney World annual pass holder in Universal Studios Orlando annual pass holder. And so it says pass holder. It has Spike the Bee, which he is, I think, the cutest little guy. Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival 2022. The other thing I want to point out is at the very top, it does say Disney Parks and Resorts exclusive, which means that they actually went to the parks and picked this up themselves. And the total on this pin is $19.99. Yay! Oh, I love, oh, Spike is so cute. I love Spike. I feel like Spike looks like he is a chipmunk in a bee costume, right? Like he looks like, doesn't he look like a tiny chipmunk in a bee costume? <laughs> also, can we please sign a petition for him to be a character that we meet in the park? Wouldn't that be so adorable for a flower and garden? He's always the emblem for flower and garden or the mascot I mean for flower and garden. That seems to make sense to me. Okay, next I have a, ooh, it says Kingdom Castle Collection. Ooh, I bet this is jewelry. So you've got a little pink organza bag and let's see what we've got. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've been like so into Disney jewelry lately. I'm living. <gasps> ooh, oh no. Okay, so these fell, the box, oopsies, it got a little bit damaged, the box did, but oh my gosh. These are perfect for the Flower and Garden Festival next year. I'm going to wear these. Okay, let me do a close up so you guys can see. So I needed to do a bit of a close up because I don't want them to fall. You see, like they've kind of like broken off of the display here, but aren't these gorgeous? <laughs> ah, I'm like obsessed with Disney earrings right now. I have two full earring displays that are almost full and I'm gonna need to get a third. But we have like golden hoops, Bambi is in the center and then there are all these little butterflies in different colors, blue, purple, yellow, and a melon color. And then we have a really pretty little daisy with like a center like pearl in there. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. What a cute little Bambi outfit. 
could be like paired with these beautiful earrings. Oh, I'm so excited. These are, oh, I'm so excited. I love, I'm, oh my gosh. Disney earrings and me, we're having a moment. So I'm so excited. $29.99. Also, we have that little pink sticker saying that it is a Disney Parks exclusive. <laughs> Loving it. There's one more item. So this is interesting. So um, I don't know what it, oh, I'm so excited because I love Danielle Nicole, but I don't exactly know what it is. So it says Danielle Nicole, and then it's got like cardboard. So let's see what this is. Also, can we talk about Danielle Nicole? Have you guys noticed that like her Instagram has been fully discontinued and her website? It's the weirdest thing. Do you guys know what happened? Because I feel like there are still small shops out there and obviously we're getting Danielle Nicole bags, but are they just like not selling direct any longer? Which if they're not, it's kind of sad. Oh my gosh, what is this? Okay. Ooh, oh, she's so pretty. Oh my gosh, she's got dingle dangle little dingle dangles. She's got dingle dangles. Oh my goodness, stop it. Stop it right here and right now. I asked for this on the wish list, but I don't think the pictures did it justice because this bag is so much prettier in real life than I had expected it to be. And she's got dingle dangles. She's got pixie dusted dingle dangles. Whew. Love that. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is the keyhole tink bag. Where tink is trying to fit through the keyhole and her little booty gets stuck. Her little booty gets stuck on the other end. She gets little is that the part where she gets a little spanking? She gets, does she get spanked like multiple times or does she just get stuck? Man, I need to watch Peter Pan. Also, that's super weird. Remember she gets like, anyway. Um, <laughs> here we are going down a rabbit hole in the wrong direction. Okay, first of all, this bag is so much prettier than I had expected. So I wanna show you a couple things. So these like little swirlies that are around the keyhole are like, Applicate, which I didn't realize. So they're like three dimensional. Tink also three dimensional. Look at the glitter in her hair. She is fully pixie dusted, which I am obsessed with. She also has pixie dusted dingle. Look at the dingle dangles. Girl, adorbs. Metal, it's not metal. Metallic. <laughs> Applicate details with debossing for the actual keyhole. Man, and also I want to point out the back of her wings, also metallic gold, which makes her look just really lush and really pretty. Wow. And then she also has pixie dust like all around her that is metallic all the way around the back of her. Like the details of this bag do not, are not represented through pictures very well. They're very, um, this very much needs to be a bag that has a video that goes along with it. So in this bag, you have a, a handle. I'm not a big handle fan. I'm hoping that there, I think there is a crossbody. Oh, it also has her name in the corner. I didn't realize that before. The back has Danielle Nicole, which is the brand. And then, oh yes, okay, good, do, good deal. We do have a crossbody strap, which I love. So we have a brown crossbody strap. I definitely will use a crossbody. I'm just a much more, I like a hands-free bag, we've decided. And then the interior is this really pretty gray color. It's always gray for Danielle Nicole bags and it says DN for Danielle Nicole handbags. It does have an interior zip pocket and a magnetic button closure. Oh my gosh, dingle. Pixie dusted dingle dangles. I mean, can you, can you, can I get these in real life? Is it like a long belly button ring? Maybe it's a long belly button ring. Maybe we don't want to go down that route. Maybe those are bad decisions. They're good decisions for Tank, bad decisions for Jesse at 35. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so anyway, <laughs> let's look at our packing slip. Our packing slip is gonna tell us all of the things. This box was curated with love by Amanda. Amanda, thank you so much. Uh, the Bambi Butterfly Hoops, $29.99. The Epcot Flower and Garden Pin, $19.99. And this beautiful Danielle Nicole bag is $90. I would love to know what your favorite item is. Obviously, this is a big hit. I'm actually loving all of the items that I got in my box because all of them are definitely something that I will use and also display. So I am 
loving this box. Thank you so much, Amanda. A lot of you guys also get Bippity boxes. You'll have to let me know down below what your favorite item was from your box because I always love hearing that from you guys. It's so much fun to hear what everyone else gets in their monthly Bippity box. So anyway, that's going to do it for me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN, bye!